Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today we're going to be making this cool little sliced menu where you can hover over each of these style buttons and it will change the blur in the background of the image and also show the color from a grayscale. And we actually can do this without any coding at all. So be sure to like this video because it would really help me out and we'll get straight in today. And this is a brand new scene in Unity 2020.3 and it can, this can be used in any version. And we're going to use all the default things in Unity. And there's one thing that we need to install which is really important. Now this is the UI effects by Mob Sakai. And this person has created an absolutely amazing bunch of effects for UIs, whether that be animations, whether that be glints, whether that be effect transitions. So all you need to actually do is go to the top of this page, I'll leave this in the description. Go to the code and then just copy this link here when you've clicked on the code. Just copy it because this will be the GitHub link to how we can install it. Then if we go back to Unity, go Window and we go to Package Manager. We can then click the drop down at the top and add package from Git URL. We can paste that URL, press add and it will find the package that we were looking for. And you can see that I've already got this installed in my project. And you can actually import samples if you want to look at the demo of how some of this works. So once we've got that installed, we're ready to go. So we can right click in our hierarchy, go UI, and we're just going to choose an image. This is going to be our image button one as an example. And when we go on our canvas, we need to set the actual resolution to be a scale with the screen size. So I'm going to scale this screen size. So I'm going to start 1920 by 1080. Now, because it's 1920 pixels across, you could go to your calculator and realize that 1920 divided by, let's see how many slices do we want? Do we want four divided by four? And we can see that each slice needs to be 480 pixels across. So if we select this object, and we can set the width to 480. So this is going to be what it will be. So then we can put slot this to the left hand side, scale it up and just push it along here. We can set its anchor point to the left hand side. And now that's fine for our current button. What we can then do is we can just duplicate this button and I'm going to parent it to what I've already got here. And this is going to be screenshot one and I'll call this mask because we're going to mask the object that we have below to be able to make the screenshot appear. These can be any screenshots. They're nothing specific. These are just 1080p screenshots. So my first screenshot can be maybe this ice river. As long as you've selected your screenshots and made sure that the sprite 2D and UI, then what I'm going to do there is I'm going to then preserve the aspect. So then is actually relevant to how we want it then what we can do is we can actually grab this object and just scale it up and then place it roughly where we think we might want it in the scene maybe i'll place it around there and so once we've applied that we can go to our first the button that we wanted and we can add a component and we can search mask and we can and we can search rect mask 2d and when we add that component you can see that it now slices or masks our image and we can just make sure that we do scale this up and make sure that it fits our box and we can choose wherever we might want well, we'll want this here and that's our first sliced button and now we can right click this UI image UI button go UI and we're going to actually create a another image and we're just going to scale this out almost to the we'll put this at the center center of our image here and scale it almost to the edges of our object, however you want this to be. I'm just going to change the color, something like a darker blue. Then I'm going to right click, I'm going to rename that image to just our button BG. Then I'm going to right click this button BG, choose UI, and then I'm just going to add text. I'm just going to scale this text out so it fits the entire of our backing. Then I'm just going to write in here, bonus content i'm going to set the material color to a lighter blue and then i'm going to set it to middle middle and i'm going to set it to bold and scale this up like so so we've got the start of one of our buttons now you'll ask me how do we actually create the grayscale and the fade effect so now on our screenshot one that is the currently the mask we want to add a new component which is called ui effect and this was the thing that we just installed 
and we can still set the effect mode and we can set it to grayscale so that you can see that grayscale uh, when the effect factor is all the way at one it's completely grayscaled and then when it's at zero you can see that the color changes so we'll leave it at one by default and also you can see that the blur mode at the bottom we can use a medium blur a fast blur or a detail blur, we can leave on whatever we want. We can just leave it on a fast blur like this because it'll be the most optimized. And now we've got it almost set up. Now, how do we do the highlight effect to make it actually do what we expect when we hover over it? Now, if we go back onto our original image button, we can add a component which is called the, and we type in event, we can call it, we can add an event trigger, we can add a new event, we can choose point to enter and we can choose pointer exit. We're going to add two new events in the pointer enter and the pointer exit. We're going to add our screenshot mask to each of these. Then we're going to, on the pointer enter, we're going to go to the UI effect. We're going to change the effect factor and make sure that it's set to zero. Then we're also going to do the same. We're going to go UI effect, and then we're going to do the blur factor and also set that to zero. And then on the pointer exit, we expect it to go back to its original state. So we'll do the UI effect, we'll do the effect factor, set that to one, and then we'll do the UI effect again on the other and do the blur factor and also set that to one. So then you will see that when I press play, I have got the content as we see it here. And when I hover over it, because of that UI event and because of the changes from the effect, we can change it like this. That's perfect. If you did want to make this into an actual button, you could just add the button component to your actual image itself, act like a button. So wherever you click this button, it would actually take you to something else that you want to do based on your own click event, let's say. What we can do is we can duplicate this image button, duplicate it once, and we can slot it to the side, do it again and again. And you can see that it all fits perfectly into the box like so. It looks a bit weird because they're all the same. I'm just gonna rename these to image button one, two, and three. Now, as before, we can get rid of image button one's completed. We can go to the screenshot mask, which is number two, and we can choose another image. And I'm just going to add this straight in. Remember, we can change the position of this as long as we keep it even top and bottom. That's perfect. We can select our next one and choose our choose another image that we might want to use. And then maybe the last one, which is going to be this student cabin. What I did in my example was if I open them all back up and you can see that my button background, you can see that maybe I want to just differentiate it. So I'll keep it along the center line and I'll just bring this one down. I will set this text to new game. I'm going to select the next one and I'll bring this up slightly. And then I will call this one by editing the text to load game. And then the very last one, I will just bring this down ever so slightly to just offset it and change this to maybe the star if you're going to have something to buy. And we can save that out. Now, if we press play, you can see that I have my several different buttons with a blur effect on each of the images and a grayscale unless I actually click. So we've got a cool looking designed menu without a single line of code and you've been able to make one and make something that's AAA looking with simple screenshots and some UI masking within Unity. So I hope this helped you out and you found this useful and do let me know what you think and if you've got any suggestions for it, do come and support me on Patreon. I will upload this entire project to my Patreon so you can get access to it from there. Be sure to come and join me on Discord to come and have a chat. Come and check out my great assets on the Unity store. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.